Hello and welcome to this tutorial that will show you exactly how to use a computer mouse. Now the very first question that you might be asking is, what on earth is a computer mouse? Well, to answer that plain and simply, this is a computer mouse. You may not have seen one before, but I can assure you this is a legitimate computer mouse. Now, unlike the animal of the same name, this mouse is made of plastic and is less furry. Another fun fact is that computer mouses, or mice, to give it their scientific technical name, do not eat any cheese. They just don't eat it. Which is quite an important trait because you may not have any cheese available, so you won't need to worry about it because they just don't eat cheese. They don't, they don't like it. Now I'll just give you a slightly closer look of the mouse, just so that you can see it first hand and see exactly what this mouse looks like. So I don't know if you can quite see, but here is um, it's like a wheel. It's like I don't know what it's for, but it's like you can, you can do that. It's like, maybe it's like a I think it's like a stress reliever. So you, do, you just go like this, and it relieves stress. I can feel uh, um, lots of stress has been relieved just by doing this. So that is the useful function of this mouse. Um, another uh, feature of the mouse is that on here, um, it's labeled DDY. So that must be the manufacturer name. If you rotate the mouse on the opposite side, you can see um, there's like some, some stuff here. Um, it's just like text. Um, don't need to read it, it's just it's not that important. Um, but it's there if, if, if you ever get bored and you've run out of all, all the books that you want to read and you, you're like, I've run out, what do I do? Well, just turn over the mouse and there's a bit of information you can, you can look at. So there's that. Now this mouse also has one incredible feature at the back here that I've not actually shown you yet, but it's very, very exciting. So there is in fact a laser that, that projects light, it, it, it fires light. So if I switch it on, you may want to avert your eyes. In fact, I'm not even going to turn it on because that, that could just blind you and you know, I, I don't want to get sued again, it's, it's, just not, it's just not fun. So I'm not going to do that. So to activate this mouse so that it works with your computer, you'll see, you should see, there is an on off button see this and what you want to do is switch it to the on position but as I said once you switch it to the on position then the laser will fire off and all hell breaks loose so make sure you're in a safe environment when you do this if your eyes are very weak then I would advise wearing safety goggles when you switch it on as I said the laser is very dangerous very bright and could cause a huge catastrophe. So just be really careful. Thankfully, I'm an experienced mouse user, so I don't need to worry about this. But for people who have not used this computer mouse or any other mouse for that matter before, then you may want to take extreme precautions beforehand. So I'm just gonna switch it on now. You still may want to avert your eyes just in case, because this could go horribly wrong. Okay, so it's on. So the mouse is switched on now and there is a laser firing light everywhere. So I'll give you time to wear your safety goggles and in fact I will actually show you this. Make sure you're wearing your safety goggles and then I can uh, show it to you. So I'll give you a few seconds to put the safety goggles on. Okay, you should be wearing your safety goggles now. Okay, so now I can I can reveal the laser to you. There's there's the laser. So I'm sure you're wearing your goggles now, otherwise you'll be in extreme peril. But I ha I have given you some warning, so ho hopefully hopefully you're okay. So the final step will be to demonstrate how this mouse actually works. You'll need to hook it up to your computer using some advanced te technology skills. 
So you should be able to see on this computer screen here, this arrow, this, this white arrow that appears on the screen. This represents the mouse. It's not really shaped like a mouse, I, it's, an, it's an arrow, so I don't, I, they got the shape comp completely wrong, but you just have to accept it. No one's perfect. But regardless, we have to work with what we have. So the way this works is that every time you move your mouse, the arrow should move too. So let's give it a demonstration, see if it works. Did you, did you see that? It, it clearly moved, it clearly moved. You know, and I barely moved the mouse at all, and it still moved. But I did move it, um, it, it wasn't a spiritual event that just happened. I did actually physically move it with my hand, so that's proof that, that, that I did actually move it with my hand. So. And there's other things you can do as well. So you, you can move it left, like that, and you can move it right. Sorry, that was up. Right, just like that. Um, I haven't mastered down yet, but you could probably move the mouse down as well. So that it does have that extra feature. Uh, I'm still I'm still learning myself, you know. So there's still a lot to learn with it with this mouse. So I'm still figuring out, you know, every day. So. You just want to keep practicing, and then you'll get to a level where you can control the mouse to your to your desire. You can move it up, you can move it left, you can move it down, you can move it right, and every other direction in between. So it's, the choice will be up to you, but you have to get there first. So that's been the tutorial of how to use a computer mouse. Hopefully now you'll be able to do it yourself. If you have any other tutorial suggestions that you would like help with, then please don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section and I will do my very best to read the comment and potentially produce a tutorial on that topic. So until next time, see you later and best of luck with, with, with the computer mouse. Goodbye.